going to make AI create our water slide images for us. Yeah, you. Do all my dirty work for me. Yes, artist master. <laughs> Uh, with this image hack, I'm going to show you, you no longer need to spend hours and hours searching Google or spend tons of money on Itsy. Itsy, Etsy, Betsy, Schmetsy. Oh, sorry, Betsy. Eh, it's okay. I am used to it. Now to access this AI art generator. Quit it licking my toes. Oh my gosh. Dog, what the heck? Huh? I'm going to jump on my computer. You can totally do this on your phone, but we're going to jump into my VIP Discord server. And there's a link in the description if you're interested in learning more about that. All right, so let's jump in. Now we're here in my VIP Discord server where people have been playing a lot around with these things, uh, especially me, like some crazy stuff. Look at this Terminator rooster. That's pretty funny. Like literally, look at these t-shirt designs. Okay, I've really been liking these colorful roses. I've been just typing in literally colorful rose, no background, some different types of prompts. And I'll show you why this one, if you have Photoshop, it can work. But to make it even better for a simple use on the Cricut and it to cut it out for you, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. All right, to make this work, perfectly on the Cricut as a water slide. You can see there's some shadows that'll give you some problems trying to cut that out with the magic wand selector in Cricut. So to get around that, you first have to bring up the prompt forward slash imagine. There it is right there, boom. And then you type in whatever you want it to be. So we're going to do colorful rose. And this is the trick, here we go, sticker. Boom. And just for good measure, let's type in transparent background. And I don't know if this will make a difference or not, but no drop shadow. We're trying to get rid of all these shadows. And then hit enter. And boom, look at that. You see how it has a little outline around it? That'll come in super handy. So this is number one, two, three, and four. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna click down here, upscale number four. Boom, and what that does is makes it into a bigger resolution, because up here, this is just the samples. Like it gives you four quick variation samples. Then you wanna click on it and it brings a big picture. You right click it if you're on a computer and you put save image. Boom, click save. Now we're ready to pull it up in the old Cricut. So we'll browse, we'll find that picture we just saved. Pull it up in here, and of course you gotta hit complex because of the multicolors. Hit continue, and here we're ready to select the magic wand and easily erase this because of the way we prompted it to make it a sticker. Boom, background, gone. Outline, gone. The only thing we have to do with this is erase the little part it left. Now some of these, you have to play around with it. They don't go as easily. There, I've got it all erased. Let's do a little preview view of the cut. Make sure I got them all. Oh, that is beautiful. Hit apply. You're going to select print and cut, of course. Otherwise, what's the use? You know what I'm saying? Upload. Boom. Then you just select that picture right there. Add to canvas. Voila. You have a print and cut image that is scalable. So you make it whatever size you need. Hit make it. And then it's on your little sheet. Before we do that, just for fun, let's do one more. Let's type in watercolor, flower, sticker. And since it works so well, let's put transparent, if I can spell right, background, no drop shadow. Hit enter. Whoops, it might help if I put in the command code first. You gotta type in the prompt first. Could have just copied and pasted that. What the poop? There we go. Click on the prompt. And boom, look at those beauties right there. What? How perfect is that? Oh, and you have to play around with it and see what it cuts out. But literally, you could just leave that little perimeter printed on transparent water slide. And I mean, to be honest, that wouldn't even look bad on white printable vinyl. All right, all right, all right. One more and then we'll wrap it up. I have so much fun with this. Let's do imagine. I always have to say it like that. I'm not really sure. I like these butterflies right here. I did a school earlier. What if we combined them? Colorful butterfly skull sticker always add the sticker comma and transparent it, it's been working so good why why mess up a good thing right comma no drop shadow can't spell. Somebody give me some spelling lessons. Hit enter. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, those are so good. Oh, I could do this for hours. Literally, this is the super simplest way to create your water slide. And if you want to see the exact perfect settings to print your water slide out, you're going to want to check out this video right here. I'll see you on the next one. We're taking over.